Okay, we're going to do a quick overview of the new ProUFI software. Um, basically, uh, the look and feel is a little different now. Um, we've added these graphs and numeric value displays here to make things a little easier to kind of add a quick reference to see what's going on. Um, we've also rearranged the tabs across the top uh, to make it more readily obvious as to you know the order things should be being done in uh, as far as your setup screen here it used to be on the end, so people didn't realize there was a setup screen. Uh, we've changed the colors for the, the log opener and the, the units conversion right here, so that you can tell that there is isn't a lot of people didn't realize you could change the units in the software. Uh, just click on the unit screen, change it to KPA, degree C if you want to. Come right back, and all the units are changed over. Um, so that's uh, just kind of to make things more readily apparent. Cal Compare Tool is also in a in a different color so you can see that a lot of people didn't realize you can compare different calibrations um, the shortcut keys are a little more obvious control D for the dyno control F for fuel S for spark uh, those labeled in parentheses are your shortcut keys for that particular function function 3 uh, function 1 from any screen you can hit those shortcut keys and they'll jump into that particular screen so if I want to go to the fuel screen here I can control F jump into the fuel screen. If I want to go back to my setup screen, I can hit F1 and go there. Um, we've also added some functionality to the individual screen, so now your uh, fuel system setup is also in your fuel screen as well as the setup screen. So you can find a lot of stuff in two different places, so you don't necessarily have to know what our thinking was when we put it together. If your thinking's a little bit differently, you should still be able to get where you need to go. Escape from any screen will get you back to the main screen. Um, another thing that people weren't really catching on to is that this particular chart, anytime there's a gray bar divider there, you can change the size of those screens um, for better viewing. Uh, same with like the fuel screen. You've got this divider here. So if you want to drag that down, make those graphs a little bigger, drag this up, make them smaller, make your graph here bigger. So we've just kind of made things a little bit more obvious, a little easier to use. Uh, the 3D graph screen is uh, just been, again, the layout's a little different here. Your your air fuel stuff here is you one in air fuel one, air fuel two, and target in the middle. So you just need to make sure that those two are lining up. Um, if you turn off your feedback control or turn it on, this graph will show up with your trims. I'll tell you what each bank is being trimmed at. So if you disable that, it goes away. Uh, in some pages, it'll be replaced with other uh, values here. So if I enable that, I get O2 trim. If I disable that, I get oil pressure, oil temp, and fuel pressure. So think, to make things a little bit easier, um, we're doing some things like that. Um, logging screens are kind of the same. That's a little different, a little bit easier to read. We've also added in the I.O. tab, uh, you have a output override screen now for all your outputs. So you can check your wiring as soon as you got it done. Just override that particular function for your driver's indicator light or malfunction indicator light. Just override that function and it'll turn that light on. You can check your wiring and then once you've got it configured in the software, you know it's going to work correctly. Uh, we have the output screens for checking to see if you've got any conflict assignments. Everything that's assigned as an output is going to be shown up in this screen. Uh, same thing with your inputs over here. I'll tell you what analog inputs you've chosen to use for that particular function. Uh, ADC inputs, this at a quick glance will tell you if that function is seeing value. So if you've got you know, your line lock or trans break or anything coming through the computer, hit that button, you're going to see a change here. AC request shows all the analog inputs so they'll change value and you can see that it's working this way as, as well. Um, same thing with the 112, you've got separate outputs for those. We've added uh, electronic throttle is now separate from VCAM, so your throttle and electronic throttle setup is over here. So you can check and make sure that those things are set up correctly. Just click on your sensor screen. You can watch what it's doing. These are your captured values, so you can check and make sure that they're set up properly and within range of what your uh, loud captured value is going to be. So it automatically sets the scaling properly for you. ETC validation, you can check APP 1 and 2 is tracking, TPS 1 and 2 is tracking, and your request in actual position is tracking. And then in the logging screen, you've got, of course, your strip chart on the bottom. So you can set your shortcut, 
to track whatever you want here. Check and see what your duty cycle output is and your trim so you can set up this table easier. Uh, so the layout is just kind of meant to make things quicker and faster and easier as well. So that's a quick overview of the new software here.